Hello everybody and welcome to a Fortnite Battle Pass concept. Now, the Marvel season has yet to be announced officially yet. So, I'm assuming it's still happening and that's where we are now. You can at least see my picks for the Marvel season of the Fortnite Battle Pass. This video is going to go a little something like this. Announcing the character, going over how they fit in the storyline, and then going over some bonus stuff that they could have in the item shop. So, let's get started with America Chavez. America Chavez is pretty simple. The storyline goes as follows. Some of this is made up just for this video, so if some of this changes, then... <laughs> Megalodon succeeds in restarting his engines for his Megalodon ship. After restarting his engines, he eats his way to the other side of the island, splitting it in half. He just wants to destroy the island, but he does not succeed, as the zero point is revealed to be in the center. Out from the zero point emerges a being of pure darkness, Marvel's own Dormammu. Dormammu releases his entire dark dimension onto the island, destroying Megalodon's ship and releasing evils unknown to the Loopers. He does not take over the entire island, just the center area where the zero point is, and the story this season is trying to stop Dormammu from taking its power for himself. To anyone that doesn't know, Dormammu is leader of the Dark Dimension, and he tries to bring all reality into his own dimension. America Chavez, being the only person in the entire universe that has the innate ability to travel between universes, she decides it is her duty to bring heroes to the island. So, that is how America gets to the Fortnite island. America will have a pretty basic setup for her battle pass page. Of course, she will have her loading screen, V-Bucks, which, by the way, V-Bucks do not always mean V-Bucks, or it would be like 3,000 something in the battle pass. V-Bucks are just a stand-in for things like sprays, emoticons, or, of course, V-Bucks. Those things are so basic, it makes no sense for me to make them, because whatever you guys can come up with is probably better than what I could come up with. Moving on from the stand-in, we're moving to the emote. Her emote would have her open a star portal, which is her big thing. My idea here was it would be a bunch of IP-related portal openings, so the portal would open to any of the number of DC IPs. It could open to the Marvel Universe, it could open to the Alien Universe, it could open to the Frozen Universe, anything you can come up with, uh, just a bunch of different realities. She pokes her head in and then comes right back out. It wouldn't be anything crazy, just a cool little emote. Moving on to her wrap, it would be blue with electrical sparkles all over it and red as well to go with her color scheme. Her pickaxe. This would be an entirely new type of pickaxe. Something that I've been asking for for a really long time is a new punching pickaxe. So far we have regular pickaxe, dualies, nunchucks, bow staff, swords, single-handed, double-handed, and the current punching pickaxe. All of them have different animations, and I am suggesting that they make a new type. One that has a more boxer type animation, and instead of having something physically in their hands, maybe sometimes they have boxing gloves or something, but they have energy fields wrapped around them instead. America would have some sort of energy field wrapped around her hands, and when punching, would open little star portals that then immediately close. Some more V-Bucks, and of course the America skin that you would get just immediately after buying the pass. Also something you may notice is I have included the Lego characters up to the side. I'm not going to focus on that, but you can see it if you would like. For her second page, she would have a contrail that resembles something similar to her pickaxe, another stand-in, but after that we have her glider. Her glider is pretty interesting, if I do say so myself. Instead of having her own unique glider, she will have a unique glider animation. It will bring in any glider from your locker into the screen from one of her star portals. Just like any skins with emoticons or wraps, you can pick which one you want, or you can have it be randomized every time you open the glider. 
I think this makes her a pretty interesting glider. Her back bling would simply just be the star portals, maybe something like the Spider-Verse back bling, where it goes inside into another universe. She would also have a recolor to go with her second style, which is just her with her hood up and some more powered up looking eyes. That is America Chavez. She is the only America in the entire Omniverse. Now, going over what they could add for her in the item shop, Wiccan and Speed. They are the Scarlet Witch's children, and they are both very, very different looking, but would make for a great bundle in the item shop. Moving on to tier two, and that is Quicksilver. Quicksilver is my most wanted character for Marvel Rivals. It's a great, uh, I love I love him and I would love him in that game. But he's also a really cool character in general and I really, 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 really like speedsters. So Quicksilver is a no brainer for me. Quicksilver joins America Chavez to come protect the island. His first level on his page will unlock his loading screen. But after that, he will have, of course, the V-Buck stand-in and then a traversal emote that allows you to run around. It would be a kind of a slow-mo look, so he wouldn't be running super fast, of course, but it would make sense because he would be in slow motion during the animation. Next up, a wrap, which is just a simple blue and white wrap with his lightning bolt on it. And for his pickaxe, I'll have to explain what it is exactly in just a second when we get to his emote, but it's just a random assortment of different floating objects. Hmm. Then a V-Buck stand-in, and then of course the man himself, Quicksilver, in his classic blue and white outfit. Page two, he will have a second loading screen to go along with his first, and also another V-Buck stand-in. He would then have another emote, which would see him going in slow motion, pots, pans, bullets, multiple different objects being thrown at him, but then slowing down the closer they get. Then he quickly rearranges them into his pickaxe. This would be a pickaxe equip animation, similar to the likes of Wolverine's claws, and would allow you to bring this up whenever you want, mid-match, even if you don't have it equipped prior to joining. Very cool, if I do say so myself, and, I, well, I do say so myself. Then, of course, we have his glider, pretty much just a reskinned version of Magneto's glider, but this time it would be debris that he's running on instead. Maybe try to change up the walk cycle to look a little bit more like running, but it doesn't really matter since he's, well, falling out of the sky. Next up, a recolored green variant for his pickaxe. Hmm, finally, his secondary style, which puts him in his green version from his time on the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So that is Quicksilver, the son of Magneto. You didn't see that coming? So yes, Quicksilver has a pretty simple story. He's just on the map, helping out, nothing crazy. The next character, however, is a bit more involved. Jubilee, your 100% definitive favorite mutant. Jubilee's story would be pretty simple. She would be joining the heroes on the Fortnite island to stop Dormammu. However, she will actually be the reason the X-Men join at all. Jubilee is a big fan of America Chavez and they are best buds. The X-Men do not want to get involved in this as they have other matters to deal with back on Reality 616. Don't worry about it if you don't know what's going on, just, just go with it. The X-Men do not want to get involved, but Jubilee does convince some of them to get involved, including someone we'll get to in just a minute. Jubilee, of course, will have a loading screen for her first level and V-Buck stand-in, of course. Her back bling would be a reactive back bling with fireworks. Every time you get a kill, a new firework will appear on your back for a maximum of five fireworks. She would then have an emote where she just does a different little dance thing with her fireworks. Next up, we'd have some traditional hand pickaxes, similar to Wolverine's claws or the Hulk fists, where she has yellow gloves on and the pickaxe animation will have fireworks go off when you hit objects. And of course, last but not least, the Jubilee skin on to page two, where we would have another loading screen for her, as well as another V-Buck stand-in. Her contrail would be very simple and have fireworks coming out of her hands. Her glider would also be very simple, just being the default with some yellow and pink coloring and perhaps an X-Man symbol on the top as well. 
she would have a recolored version of her pickaxe to go along with her secondary variant that has a more black leather look similar to the X-Men movies, but also she has in the comics. Now, some characters that she would bring along with her in the item shop include the following. Nightcrawler, a very sweet, awesome character. Uh, he would have multiple different things you could do with him. Emotes, gliders, there's so many things you could do with Nightcrawler. That would be very, very cool. She would bring him along in the item shop and bundle him with the Beast, the Blue Boy Bundle, obviously. Both characters would be very, very cool to see. Glider-wise, there's not a whole lot you can do with them, but that's okay because you can always put Gambit and Rogue's bundle back in to get that X-Men glider. Now, Jubilee is pretty integral to the plot because she brings in the X-Men. However, the next character is also pretty integral for bringing his team along, the Human Torch. The Human Torch would be one of the small amount of heroes that are brought over by America Chavez. The Fantastic Four do not have time to go with her as they have other things to do in Reality 616. In fact, this would be happening during one of the worst times of Reality 616. So stopping Dormammu is not necessarily a priority as he already kind of takes over worlds all the time and they don't really care. However, the Human Torch is a much more noble character and decides to go along with them. He would of course have a loading screen and debuffs for his first two, but he would then have a fire themed glider. This glider, if used by the Human Torch, would turn him into his flame on version. However, anyone can use this glider as I'm not a big fan of stuff that's gate kept behind specific characters unless it's absolutely required. He would then have a back bling. This back bling would be one of four, the Fantastic Four logo. You'll see why in just a minute, but for now, it's one of four. He would then have a car for rocket racing. I know that uh, not a lot of people really care about this stuff, but having a new sports car in the battle pass is pretty essential at this point, either a car or an instrument, and I've decided to go with a car. His car would be the Fantastic Car. Of course, a stand-in for V-Bucks and the Fantastic Four Johnny Storm. For page two, he would have a fire version of the Fantastic Four back bling. You'll see why this is just one of four, not too long from now. And then a fire contrail. Then a fire-themed Fantastic Four wrap, again, one of four, and his flame on emote. Technically, you wouldn't get that until his final tier, which is Flame on Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch. He would be all flamed out, and of course, you could have him like that at all times if you want, or switch back and forth during the match. Johnny Storm, away from home, missing his family, but saving them in the process. As I just described, he has left Reality 616 to come help the heroes stop Dormammu from taking over Reality Zero. However, they did not forget about him and have decided to come looking for him. Every season throughout Chapter 5, there has been a mini pass halfway through the season. Ninja Turtles, Avatar, and Pirates of the Caribbean. But if this is a Marvel season, we should probably have some sort of Marvel themed one during this season as well. Well, I have come up with the idea of having the Human Torch bring in the Fantastic Four who come looking for him from Reality 616 midway through the season. This pass would include multiple things. I did not create the entire pass, but it would include multiple different Fantastic Four items, maybe a Herbie back bling, maybe a Fantastic Car glider as the free glider reward, since all of them thus far have had a free glider reward, it would just make sense. The pass would not only include Sue Storm, Reed Richards, and Ben Grimm, it would also include Jennifer Walters, She-Hulk. Four characters from the Fantastic Four who would all be joining in this pass. They would all have regular Fantastic Four outfits as well as future Foundation versions as the storyline for the season would be that their future Foundation versions have come to find the Human Torch. But for those that want it, regular versions as well. 
Moving on to the next character in our battle pass. It is the most requested character that I have seen for this battle pass, and that is Gwynpool. Gwynpool just decides that if Deadpool can be in this game, if other Marvel characters can be in this game, why can't she? She knows the most about the game. She knows the most about how to play the game. Why can't she be a part of it? So she jumps in with America, not for noble causes, but because she wants to be in Fortnite, wouldn't we all? She would of course have the loading screen and of course the V-Bucks too. Her first real tier would give her a traversal emote that has her running across the ground in a scared, dodging motion. She would be kicking up comic books, as well as maybe some V-Bucks off of the ground as she runs along. She would then have a wrap that looks like her mask and her face, and then a mallet for her pickaxe, the V-Buck stand-in, and then the Gwen Pool skin. For her second page, she would have the default glider recolored to look like her, and it would even have the tail on the back of her mask as well. Her back bling would be Jeff the Shark in a bowl, and maybe he's a pet and can be reactive just like the pets of old. A contrail that also includes Jeff the Shark, where he comes out of the bowl if you have the bowl equipped as your back bling, and rides right behind you in a gliding motion. She would have a recolored white variant for her pickaxe, and then a civilian clothes version of Gwenpool. And there you have it, the variant of Gwen Stacy in Deadpool. Wait. Whoops, Gwendolyn Poole, totally original character, in the flesh. Now, for Gwen Poole's one and only item shop friend that she brings along, she will have Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan in this version would very likely be the purpley light thing, but that's only because that's the version that's in the comics right now. I would much prefer the version where she has actual stretch powers, but you win some, you lose some. Next up, we have another character, but this time one that did not come along with America. This would be a character that is actively helping Dormammu, at least to some extent, maybe towards the end he changes sides, but at first he comes with Dormammu to the Fortnite Island. That is Mysterio. Mysterio would of course have his loading screen, but his glider would be that of Superman's, where he just spawns in a cape and has a very gentle, breezy, easy breezy glide down to the stage. His backling would also be his cape, but his pickaxe would be similar to the slurp pickaxes. A mist cloud that goes around his arm that then shapeshifts and changes into different types of weapons, axes, hammers, etc and then Mysterio himself. For his second page, he would have a contrail of smoke. He would then have an emote that allows him to shapeshift between his first page counterpart and his second page counterpart, which we'll get to in just a second. It will cloud him in smoke, and then he will change into the other version at will during the match. Then a recolored green variant for his cape, and then a recolored purple variant for his pickaxe. You'll see why those colors are needed in just a second, but that is exactly because he will have a dark Dormammu version of his suit. This would be a Fortnite original. I used the symbiote version from the comics, where he had the symbiote for a little bit, but this would be entirely original if it was actually put into the game and would look like Dormammu minion sort of thing. Mysterio, as most of you probably know, is not actually magic about 90% of the time, and he wouldn't be, but Dormammu gives him magic to help him and be one of his minions during this season. He is a villain and is on the map. Who would Mysterio bring along with him? Well, I would like to see a Sinister Six bundle that is brought in with him, including the likes of Kraven the Hunter, Doc Ock, Vulture, and Sandman. That is the original version of the Sinister Six, of course, not including Mysterio, so maybe you would add a sixth character in there, but it would just be to round out the Sinister Six. They would all be present in the storyline as well, and would be villains during the entire season. Mysterio, Master of Illusions, Stunts, and Special Effects. For our Tier 100 skin, I know, we're getting towards the end. We have Cyclops. 
Cyclops is the main person that Jubilee convinces to come to the Fortnite Island. He does leave some characters behind in Reality 616 to help lead the X-Men. However, Cyclops brings some of his friends along into the fray. Cyclops would of course have his loading screen and the V-Bucks, but his glider would be something that I don't want to do. I really don't want to do this, but it would have to be built in. He would laser the ground under him while slowly falling down. His back bling is next, and that is his X-Jet, aka the Blackbird. They already have it for a glider, and so they can't put it in here as his glider. Anyway, the glider I came up with is cooler. But nonetheless, here it is as his back bling. He will have a Cyclops themed wrap next, and then of course you unlock the skin. On page two, he in fact doesn't have a second loading screen and instead has his emote. This emote will be sort of like the this is the way emote that the Mandalorian has, as he will begin having telepathic communication with Professor X. Then we have his pickaxe, which is just his visor shooting a laser out around the X-Men logo. The laser is of course a thing you can hold, that is the bar, it would just be a typical pickaxe. His contrail would be very very interesting, as I don't think that there's any contrails that come out of the wearer's eyes. This would have lasers streaming out from his face area. A second style for his back bling, which gives the X-Jet its blue and red colors that it has a lot of the time. And of course, the final, final thing you can unlock in the Battle Pass is the Uncanny Cyclops variant. All red and very rad. Cyclops, leader of the X-Men. Now, that is the basics of the battle pass, but of course, there is the rest of the item shop characters that they would add alongside Cyclops. Jean Grey. They've already added Phoenix, but Jean Grey is a no-brainer. She isn't here, and it would be great to see her there to have her alongside Cyclops. We've already got Nightcrawler and Beast, as well as Wolverine a million times, and Rogue and Gambit, and I think that's it. So we'll have to add at least one more. I propose we have a bundle that encompasses the original X-Men team that we have remaining. Angel, Iceman, and Jean Grey all in one bundle together, bringing together the entire original team as well as some extras in there that we have strewn about. Now, I'm not done. As many of you know, there is bonus rewards. And no, I'm not talking about those. Those are all recolors and you guys can imagine what I would come up with for that. No, no, no. The bonus character. And well, if you've been listening to the story thus far, it's pretty obvious who it is. I'm talking, of course, about Dormammu. Dormammu would be our bonus character for this season. And he would have, of course, his own area in the battle pass. His first page would include the loading screen for Dormammu, very rad, very cool, very orange. Next up we have his pickaxe, which I just used the fire pickaxe that's already in the game, but there would be some sort of fire one-handed pickaxe to go along with Dormammu. He would then have another changing emote. I know they probably wouldn't use this many in a season all at once, but I think the changing emotes are really, really cool. Then we would have his glider, which would be a fire shield that goes around him that would allow him to float down towards the island. Then we have his default, which would be a black and orange variant. This is not typically how Dormammu looks, but that would be how he looks here. Page two would give us a more purple variant with his wrap being purple and orange. He would then have a recolored version of his pickaxe that more closely resembles the colors of the flames for this second variant. His back bling would be a section of the dark dimension with all of his worlds that he's conquered connected together. His glider would also get a recolor to match the flames and he would have a final variant that allows him to be purple and orange and go along with the more accurate version of Dormammu, at least that I like personally. That is my entire battle pass. It has taken me like 50 minutes to record this. I don't know how long the video will be, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're getting this far in, 
I just want to say something. First of all, thank you. Second of all, I'm going to be doing, shh, can't tell anyone, a DC Battle Pass. Just the same as this one, except for it will take place after this part of the story. I will very likely uh, change the story to go along with whatever they're doing in the Marvel season for realsies. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Comment down below what characters you would put in the DC Battle Pass, as well as who you would change for my Battle Pass. I mean, like, come on, it's not... It's not perfect, you know, it's not the, it's not the best. I mean, I'm sure there's a sure better option. I'm, I'm sure it's, it's got to be better option.